Right, local Muslim leaders are responding with criticism to Donald Trump's controversial comments about closing our borders to Muslims. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaykhet is live in Dearborn after speaking with them. Simon. Heather, Donald Trump is not just being criticized here in Dearborn, but community leaders say his words go directly against the United States Constitution. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what the hell is going on. When Republican presidential frontrunner Donald Trump called for the U.S. to put a hold on Muslims entering into the country, the eyes of the world were watching. The publisher of the Arab American News, Osama Sablani, among those outraged by what he calls bigoted and unpatriotic remarks. He is number one in the polls right now. And it means that whatever, whatever he's saying, it sounds, it resonates with, with majority of the Republican, uh, uh, you know, members. I mean, what is the difference between a Donald Trump and a uh, Hitler-like individual that is sitting here making statements to make fear against a certain group of people? Also critical of Trump's comments, civil rights attorney and chairman of the Arab American Civil Rights League, Nabi Ayad. Ayad says Trump is simply a businessman creating fear and hoping to capitalize on it. When statements are made like this, not only do Arab Americans or Muslim Americans suffer, but all Americans suffer. At the end of the day, we are the beacon of freedom around the world. That is not good for the country. It violates the Constitution, the essence of our Constitution, and the values that we, we, we brag about having in this country, that we are nation of nations, nation of immigrants. Bettina Abdrabo is another advocate for civil rights. She says she doesn't believe Trump can become our next president by singling out the Muslim community and suggesting that we are safer by closing our borders. More Muslims as a religious group have been killed by ISIS than anybody else. Donald Trump's comments speak to uh, really stoking the fears of uh, the American public, which is not helpful. Now, this is far from over. Trump will be on ABC's Good Morning America tomorrow morning defending his comments. Live in Dearborn, Simon Shaykhet, 7 Action News. Back to you. All right.